Let us do bar graphs now. Now for bar graphs we will be using the graph sheets, right? So before using graph sheets, let me tell you what exactly a bar graph means. A bar graph is basically used to show a comparison among different categories. Now categories could be anything like you can compare marks of different subjects, right? For that we use the graphs representation that is the bar graph representation. Now I am taking up an example to show you how bar graphs are being made. For that I have taken up the student A whose first term marks, second term marks and three term marks will be given to me. For example, I have taken the first term marks for student A were 40%. For the second term, the student A secured 50% marks and in his third term, the student A secured say 60% marks. Now these are, these are the values given for student A's marks in different terms. Now I am going to compare his marks in all the three terms using bar graph representation. Now as I told you, bar graph representation requires you to have a graph sheet. Somewhat you must have seen the graph sheets like this. It has one x axis and one y axis. On x axis we represent the number of terms that we have number first term second term and third term on y axis we have made the percentage of marks on equal intervals like 10 each similarly the this point where both the axes are starting is known as my origin point which is 0 comma 0 so on the y axis we have all the percentages of marks on the x axis we have all the terms now the first graph that you can see the first bar is depicting the student secured this line is representing the 40% marks. So in the first term, the student has secured 40% marks, right? The graph is clearly representing the student secured marks in, in the first term is 40%. Now for the second term, what was the question? For the second term, the student has secured 50% marks. So the graph that you will draw, the bar that you are going to draw for second term will be up to the 50% mark right here you can clearly identify that in the first term the student was securing lesser marks while as in the second term the student upgraded now moving on to the third part now in the third part we can see the student has reached 60 percent of the criteria now here the third graph is representing that the student has improved compared to first and second term so this is how we can make the comparison of any quantity the comparison between any categories using the bar graph representation now in the next question i have made is a double bar graph here we will be dealing with marks obtained by students now here the marks and the subjects are written the subjects are written on the x-axis the marks obtained are written on the y-axis the same way that we have done earlier now here the one difference that you would have is yellow bars will be representing the data between 2011 and 12 whereas the green ones are representing data between 2012 and 13. Now the 2011 and 12 data is showing us that in maths the student secured 60% marks whereas in the next year that is 2012 and 13 the student secured 75% marks. Now you can see in both the comparisons the maths the student who secured marks in maths are 60 and 75 that means you can compare the performance of students in both the years in one year the student has not performed that well but the, in the next year the student performed similarly in the next subject that is social science we have the data for 2011-12 year and we have the data for 2012 and 13 year now we can clearly compare that in 2012 and 13 the student has got weak in the cl class of social science right the subject has been reduced so we can clearly identify the performance of the student in this similarly moving on with the next subject that is English now in English we can see for both the years the students performance as remaining constant constant means the student has been doing the same way performing the same level as he was performing in the previous year right so basically see I have told you that simple bar graphs are used to represent the, uh, you can say the comparison between the two quantities, but 
for double graphs we can actually compare two quantities simultaneously right so double bar graphs are used to compare two quantities simultaneously at the same time see for the simple math subject we have been comparing the marks of the student for two years so this is how we can use the bar graph representation for the comparison of quantities or you can say comparison of datas